When the moon hangs high in the midnight sky Like a cat's claw scratching down And the wolves, they do howl For they smell something foul Mr. Whiskers has come to town He trundles out of the dark Looking for a lark You better pray you don't catch his eye For when he is done having his fun You just might wish you could die <laughs> Good evening, kitties. Ah, oh, have I got a treat for you. For you see, I recently discovered that I have surpassed 50 subscribers. Oh, I know, I know, that's small fishies in the pond compared to the likes of Mortis Media or Mr. Creepy Pasta. But I take what I can get, and I get what I can take. Well, now, my creepy kitties. This evening's story is all about doors. After all, you might be able to go to Canada and find out that people don't lock their doors. Or you might go to America and find that you might get blown away for opening a locked door, but the end result remains the same, locked or not, doors were made to be closed. Doors were meant to be closed by author unknown. This has always happened to me during my entire life, but these past days have been a lot more intense. I have this strange obsession with closing doors. I never fully understood this, but there's something in the back of my head that always tells me, close the door. There is also something strange about this obsession. It only happens at night. During the day, open doors don't cause me any trouble. But when it starts getting dark, I get this primal instinct, almost involuntary, to close the door. I guess during my entire life, I always slept with the door closed. Until a few days ago. I came home late from work and was completely exhausted. I opened the door to my bedroom, changed clothes, and went to bed. I suddenly awoke at 3.25 a.m. and tried to go to sleep again when a thought hit my mind. I left the door open. At first, I didn't make a big deal out of it, but then, to this day, I still don't know if what happened was real or was just the product of my hyperactive imagination. Every little noise I heard, the house creaking, my sheets moving, or just the cars driving outside would send my mind into a state of extreme paranoia. For all I know, it could have been anything and everything until I heard it. It was so faint, I don't know if it was just the buzzing in my ears, but I swear I heard footsteps.
coming from outside my room. I started to sweat profoundly. I, I couldn't handle the heat of my winter sheets. Every step it took towards my room, I got more and more paranoid. Then, my heart stopped for a second. It walked in to my room. It stopped in the doorway, but it was so close. I could hear its breathing. It was heavy, like it came from a big animal. At that moment, my body froze even more. If I couldn't move before, now it felt like my muscles were made of concrete. Anyone who saw me could see the terror in my face. But inside, I went on a complete rampage. Thought about everything to distract my mind about the thing, but it was useless. It started to walk until it stopped at my side. If I was in a panic before, now I was in complete brain meltdown. I don't know how it didn't notice I was awake. My sheets looked like an ocean of sweat, and the smell coming out of it would make anyone throw up. Then, as if it knew I was suffering like a poor, defenseless animal, it walked away. I heard it go out of my room, and sure enough, it was gone. As soon as I couldn't hear it, I turned on the lights, jumped out of bed, locked the door, and stayed awake until it was day. After that event, I developed insomnia. The next day, I couldn't sleep at all. I took my coffee machine to my room, locked the door once again, and waited for the sun. But before I could see the safety of light, at 3.25 a.m., I heard a knock at my door. All the feelings of fear, paranoia, and dread of the previous night came rushing into me. It kept knocking and knocking until eventually it stopped. I knew I couldn't keep going like this. I had to put this behind me. Today, I will try to sleep and forget about this forever. I did what I always do. As soon as I got into my room, I closed and locked the door. I took my sleeping clothes from my closet and went to sleep. I awoke again in the middle of the night. I didn't want to see the hours, but I knew it was 3.25 a.m. Then I heard it. Not only did I hear that breath, but I could also hear the growl accompanying it. And with that, only one thought came to my mind. 
I left my closet door open. Welcome back, my kitties! I hope you enjoyed that little yarn. Yarn! Uh, <clears throat> distractions aside, I hope you enjoyed that little story. In fact, I just might have another one for you later tonight. It really depends on how froggy I'm feeling, right? Or how frisky. <laughs> Hmm. Fact of the matter is, it seems our protagonist really wishes his nightmare stayed in the closet, so to speak. Hmm. Food for thought. Anyhow, I'm going to move on now. You all have a good evening, have a good night. And return again for good frights. After all, I am out of sight. I know. That was off the cuff. It was kind of shit. Ah, well. Sleep well, my kitties. And pleasant dreams. <laughs> Positively perfect. <laughs>